I'm Mike Jennings, here with Dilbert Pickles, reporting to you live from our headquarters in New York. Headlining the news, we have a raging rapist on the rampage, rapes three cows and then himself. Here's a quick pick of the dairy lover. Guess he took it a little beyond just eating the steak. <laughs> <laughs> a T-bone is what you eat, not due to the cow. Very right, Mike. Other lead stories include the latest from Iraq. We haven't killed them all, but we are halfway there. And also, what to expect out of this weekend's weather. Whether or not you'll be going outside. And now, on to our cover story for the evening, the Trojan War. You know, don't you just feel bad for the people of Troy? I mean, this war's been going on for over nine years now. You just can't help but feel bad for them. True, I see where you're coming from, but I feel even worse for the Greeks. I mean, to lose somebody that fine, you just gotta be furious. I mean, uh, yes, well... You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's get Helen up on the screen, right here, big screen. Helen, Helen of, of Troy, Troy, the new one. <clears throat> you know, it's hard to believe this whole war is over this one innocent girl. But then again, if you're the Greeks... It's so like losing your wife to a blood-sucking lawyer! But we're not talking about that right now, are we? And now, we go to Biff Willington, live at Troy, who will give us a little more insight on the war. How's the updraft, Biff? On air. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, Michael. Yes, it's <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, it's hard to believe that the last nine years has been over one stubborn girl. Just to give some brief history, it started with Helen running away to Troy with Paris. Yet to start, the Greeks did not suspect Helen to be at Troy. Rather, they are under the impression that she was taken not by Paris, but by a man named Decreans. However, Decreans denied all allegations and did not allow the Greeks to inspect his city. Greek armies still suspected him of Helen's disappearance and laid a siege of his city. This siege lasted a long time and many bloody battles were fought. At the end, the Greeks prevailed, but at the cost of many soldiers' lives. However, Helen was not there. After one of the battles, Achilles treated the wound of a soldier in exchange for information on the location of Troy, thus beginning another sea campaign for the Greeks' fleet and the start of the Trojan War. You're doing good. Continue on. The beginning of the war was not successful at all. In order to uproot support for Troy, Greeks had to fight all neighbors who helped Troy to withstand their initial attack. There were numerous assaults in the city. However, Troy's walls were unbreakable and remained that way. As you can see, for I am standing within the city's walls of what seems to be a rather peaceful city. Thank you, Biff. We'll be checking back in with you later. Right now, we just like to take a real short, itty video. Oh, oh, Justin. Oh, we're, oh, we're receiving oh, a live oh, feed from oh, the battlefield. Oh, so, somebody, oh, so can somebody get this yes, on the screen? Yes, somebody, yes, somebody please get, get this on the screen. On the big screen. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Oh, my. It, it's so graphic. Intense. Oh. Oh, are you receiving this? this? This is live, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, wait, wait a minute. They kind of look like ants. Ants. Where, where's, where's my magnifying glass? Where is it? Just. Uh, uh, all right, we. Ants. And now we're gonna take it down to various reporters on the battlefield. Boy, this is Peter Dickens. There's, there's chaos everywhere. It's great car attacking. I'm just hiding here under the shield. There's, there's chaos everywhere. The Greeks are attacking the Trojans. Oh, there's arrows and spears everywhere. So far, so good. Just get me out of here as soon as you can. Are you so Damn, boy! The, the, the bad! What? what? What's going on? What happened to the lights? What? What's what? going on? Turn them back on. Oh, screw it.